for the examination. Yes? Uh, hopefully on before Monday, at least before Monday, the score will be out. At least for my part. Okay? I only have 15 more papers to grade. I think probably maybe within today everything will be done. And I can tell that there's probably 10 or 15 students who get full score. That's very good. Full score. 10 to 15, perhaps. But, but on the other hand, there are more than 20 students who get lower than half. So, you belong to which groups? I don't know. Okay? All right, um, we will continue our lecture today and hopefully we will finish chapter 11 today. And next week will be our last week for energy transport. We will finish chapter 14. Okay? And then later on, we will start mass transport. On Wednesday, we start the example, the inclined plane, and we have fluid flowing on top of the inclined plane. And the uh, temperature is different. Temperature on the solid interface is T delta, and temperature on air interface is T zero. And we solve equation of motion first to get velocity profile, and then we solve the equation of energy to get this equation, this differential equation. Of course, the viscous heat is already neglected. So we only have three terms. Convection term in z direction, and z direction is going, this is z, this is x, okay? We have convection in z direction, and then we have conduction in two terms, in x direction and z directions. Problem is, the equation like this, I'm sure you cannot solve it. So whenever you have complicated equation like this and you cannot solve it, what, what should you do? Drop more terms, right? Based on assumption, based on proper assumption. Which term among these three can be dropped, can be further neglected? Can we drop this? This term will be definitely must be kept, right? So either conduction in X or conduction in Z, which term can be dropped? Now, which term is more important? The first one is more important. Why? Uh, right. In this case, if you look into the how energy is transferred into our system, the system is defined to be fluid as, as usual, right? So only the fluid is considered as system. Right now, our fluid receives energy or there will be energy transport from, suppose the solid here has higher temperature than the air outside, there will be energy transfer from fluid to our, I'm sorry, from solid to our fluid, and then from fluid to air, okay? The direction of transfer is in x direction mostly. So therefore, comparing between x and z, this term is much more important. And in that sense, we will consider this one to be neglect. You can also say that if you compare in Z direction, you have both convection and conduction term in Z direction. Comparing between conduction and convection, convection is usually more effective 
in terms of energy transport. So between these two terms, this term is less important. You can drop it as well. All right? Now, if I change partial differential equation into total differential equation, can I do that? I can do that, right? Change the partial differential to total differential. Now you have two terms. Can you solve it? Can you? Oh, oh no. I cannot write it this way. Because right now, temperature is still a function of both x and z. You cannot change from partial differential to total differential. So can you solve partial differential equation like this? If you can, if you can solve it, it would end up with error function. Do you know error function? Do you know something like this? Yes? No? Do you know gamma function? Have you heard about it? No. It's a little bit sophisticated uh, mathematical functions. Okay? If you solve the partial differential equation, you would end up with something like this. Either error function or gamma function, which is an integration of exponential something. But at this point, it is still very complicated. So two terms, even you have two terms, it's still complicated. Now we like to reduce to one term. Which term can be dropped? Comparing between convection in Z and conduction in X, which term is more important? Conduction? Why? Because normally we say convection is more effective than conduction. But the temperature of the, the plate is being constant. Yes. And the temperature of the air is being constant. Of course. So convection may not be so If, if, right now, if the thickness of the film here, delta here, is very, very thin. Suppose it's very thin, okay? Which one is more important? Again, in this case, conduction is more important. Why? Because the thickness is very, very thin. In terms of conduction, conduction is uh, energy transport due to conduction depends on two things. First is driving force, right? The temperature difference. Or it depends inversely on the thickness of the layer. If the thickness is very, very thin and the temperature difference is very, very large, then conduction here is dominating, right? And unless you have ex very high velocity here, convection will be Suppose, think like this. If the film here flows slowly, somehow like creeping, creeping flow of film here downward, the convection term would be less and less important as velocity is decreased. Okay? On the other hand, as the film here is thinner and thinner, and you keep the temperature difference to be constant, suppose you have same content of the temperature difference, which is driving force, if T0 and T delta here are kept constant, as you decrease the thickness here, energy transport will be greater and greater, right? And as you said earlier, in order to keep this temperature of the solid constant, 
and keep temperature of the air constant here. There's supposed to be energy from outside supplying to our system and transfer through our system to air. In this case, that kind of energy transport will flow in x direction, not z direction. So therefore, this one is more important and we will neglect this term. Of course, the correct way is to solve everything, but with our, with our limit, with our mathematical limit, we need to drop some terms under some kind of assumption. The correctness of our solution will be lower and lower. Okay? So if I drop these two terms, I will get I will get this equation, right? And once you drop z direction, the differential equation can be turned into total differential equation. If you integrate it twice, Okay, if you integrate it twice, you get linear temperature profile. It is linear because you have only one direction of heat transfer without considering any convection. Okay? You should also notice right now in our system, we have two boundary conditions. And boundary conditions that we have, both of them are in x direction. So it makes more sense to drop terms in z direction, keep only x direction, okay? So I'm break. So we have two boundary conditions. Put these two boundary conditions back to our original equation, you get temperature profile, okay? So by doing that, 